Now we have uh, C12 from June 2014 IAL, question number 13. The height of seawater H meters on harbor wall at time T hours after midnight. So T is hours after midnight. Okay. Um, is given by the equation. We've got 3.7 plus 2.5 times cosine of 30 T minus 40 degrees. <clears throat> Calculate the maximum value of H and the exact time of day when this maximum first occurs. Okay, so we got to find the maximum value that this can take. Cosine 30T minus 40. We're going to find the maximum value of the height. So you got 3.7 plus 2.5 times something. Now, 3.7 is fixed, 2.5 is fixed. Cosine of 30t minus 40 varies. Okay, now the highest value of the cosine of any angle can be 1. As you know, the cosine curve, if you draw it between 0 and 360, looks like this. And it repeats that same pattern all the way. So it never goes above my, 1, never goes below minus 1. So the maximum value of this, the maximum value is equal to 1 of this. So the maximum value of h is therefore going to be 3.7 plus 2.5 times 1, which is going to be 5 plus 1.2, which is 6.2. 6.2 meters. Okay, so that's the answer to the first part, the maximum value of H. Now we want to find the exact time of day when this maximum first occurs. Now the maximum first occurs, what we just found, when cosine 30t minus 40 is equal to 1. When the cosine of 30 times t minus 40 is equal to 1. That's when the maximum occurs. So we're going to find the value of t for which is true. Now we've got to modify our limit slightly. We've got t between 0 and 24. 24. Okay, we've got to change it so it says 30t minus 40. Okay, so it'll be the same as this. So we've got 30 times 0 minus 40, which is minus 40. And we've got 30t minus 40. And you've got 30 times 24, which is 760. Let me just make sure. 30 times 24. That gives us 720 minus 40, which gives us 680. Okay. All right, so those are the limits that we've got to find these angles for. But we don't really have to worry about that too much, seeing as we're told to find the, f the first, when it first occurs. We only need one solution, and the one that's closest to zero, obviously. What happened there? Okay, the one that's closest to zero. So now, what we've got to do is the following. We've got to say, okay, let's solve this equation. So we know that 30t minus 40 is equal to the inverse or arc cosine of 1. Now, the cosine theta equals 1. Okay, cosine theta equals 1 when theta is 0 degrees. So that's when that's equal to 0. 30t minus 40 is equal to 0. We don't need the next value. The next value will be at 360, but that's going to be you know, uh, a value we don't need because we only want the first time that it occurs, okay? So we're going to catch all the angles between minus 40 and 680, so zero will be the first angle that we need, okay? So now we can say 30t is equal to 40, and let's just get rid of this stuff down here. And t is equal to 40 divided by 30 which is basically one and one third. So one and one third hours after midnight. This is an hours. Hours after midnight. And it's telling us to find the exact time of day. Okay, so midnight is zero, zero. So it's going to be zero, one, and one third of an hour. One third of an hour is one third times 60, which is 20 minutes. So it's one twenty in the, in the morning. Okay, zero, one, twenty. You can write that as your answer, or you can write one, 20 a.m. as your answer. Both of those are perfectly acceptable. Okay, so that's the answer for part A. Okay, that's the answer to part A. And I'll do part B in a separate video.